Voltage drop testing can be used to test resistance in a live circuit. Because the circuit is tested live, voltage drop testing is significantly more accurate than resistance testing alone. Set multimeter to volts DC. With the engine running, place the red probe on the rectifier regulator body and place the black probe on the negative battery post. A reading of 500 millivolts or less is normal. A reading of 500 millivolts or more indicates excess voltage drop is present in the charging system ground circuit. Adding load to the battery with a variable load carbon pile battery tester increases amperage demand from the charging system. This increased amperage may be necessary to reveal the charging system fault. I'm performing the same voltage drop test to the ground circuit as before, but now with a 20 amp load. Voltage drop increases to about 50 millivolts, but remains less than 500 millivolts, confirming the ground circuit does not have excess voltage drop or resistance. If excess voltage drop is present, I can isolate the circuit by moving the test probes. Move probe from the rectifier regulator body to the ground screw, then to the crankcase, and then to the battery cable ring terminals. Excess voltage drop in the charging system is usually caused by a faulty cable or a poor connection that can easily be repaired or replaced.